Today marks 10 years since Hurricane Katrina pounded the Gulf Coast, killing 1,800 people and leaving the city of New Orleans underwater. It was one of the deadliest and costliest storms in U.S. history. Today and over the last few days, residents and politicians have marked the anniversary with a bunch of events. Former President George Bush was among those in attendance yesterday, despite largely being held responsible for the government's lack of response when hundreds of thousands needed assistance. New Orleans remembered the thousands of victims of Hurricane Katrina Friday with a jazz funeral in Dillard University. A Louisiana tradition dating back to the early 20th century, jazz funerals mark passing with music and song. Many of the commemorations remembering the disaster have featured music, including services on Thursday.